How she ended up wandering the streets of Manila is something Jelani Matuan isn't comfortable talking about. But ask her about how art has helped turn things around for her, and she lights up. One day, I saw a pile of garbage. I was so hungry, I ate the spoiled food I found in it. Moments later, a woman threw more garbage. That's when I found three crayons and a pencil. The next day, I sold some junk and used the money I made to buy paper. That's how I started doing artworks here. She started selling them at half a dollar apiece. The money she made wasn't enough to get her off the streets, but it was enough to make her stop begging and scavenging for food. It wasn't long before people took notice. Her art told her story and those of the people around her. It spoke both of her aspirations and her pain. So this two-faced image is one of her favorite things to draw. She says it reflects the kind of people that she meets here on the streets. People who treat her nicely when they're facing her and people who treat her differently when they have their backs turned against her. So when a couple of young men told her they want to sponsor her first solo art exhibit, she didn't take them seriously. But Eric Madrazo and his friend Coco Torre, who happens to work at an art gallery, were dead serious. We saw a person who had a burning desire, who just needed some you know, fuel in her passion, uh, fuel meaning resources. And so it happened. Jelani's first solo art exhibit, where 40 of her artworks were on display and for sale last Friday. Within just a few hours, they were almost sold out. Visitors also went up to her for customized artwork. At the end of the night, Jelani had made enough money to be able to make a fresh start. My plan is to go back to my hometown, buy a small piece of land there, build a house for my family, rest for a while, and then I'll come back here. Back to where it all started for her, where she got lost and then found herself again through art. Barnaby Lowe, CCTV, Manila.